Although white women are more likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer, African-American women are more likely to die from the disease. Cancer is the malady of our time. African-Americans are diagnosed and die from colorectal cancer more often than all other racial and ethnic groups. She has a groundbreaking cancer treatment. I'm working on developing a laser treatment for cancer using nanotechnology and biomedical optics. My aunt who raised me from age four announced that she had what she called woman's cancer. And she said that she would rather die than experience the side effects of chemotherapy and radiation. And I took care of her the last three months of her life. Three months after she passed, my uncle who raised me, he was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. He went through chemo and radiation, and I took care of him while he was going through his treatments. And I got to see with both of them firsthand the horrors of cancer and the horrors of cancer care. And it was so devastating that it fell on my heart that there has to be a better way. So I set out on this journey to pursue a PhD in physics but also to learn how to use my idea for a laser-targeted therapy for cancer. If a satellite in outer space can tell whether a dime on the ground is face up or face down, and if we're in a whole room of people and we call someone's cell phone, just that one person's phone ring and not the whole room, why can't we have a cancer treatment that, that's, that is that local? Why not? The focus that we need to have here in the uh, United States is to invest and invest deeply in, in the future. And what I see surrounding me here this morning is the future. I do believe that all ideas are divinely inspired and that this is a privilege to be able to have this kind of information and to be able to develop it in a way where it's affordable to people who might not otherwise be able to afford the best of cancer care.